Hey guys, I just wanted to do my review of Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 4, The Book of Sh the Stranger. So Jon Snow has basically handed over his hand over his um, position of Lord Commander to Ed. To Ed. He's, you know, he feels like he's just ready to throw in the towel. He's done. And then, of course, just in the nick of time, which I thought, you know, he would just miss him before he would just miss him, they would just miss them, Sansa Stark arrives with Brienne and Podrick, and they reunite, um, they reminisce about their past, um, Sansa apologizes for treating them poorly, and, and Sansa's, and they tell, catch each other up about what's happened to them, and he did, and John just says, "You know what? I've had to kill people I admired. I've died for my I've died for my efforts. Like I'm just, I'm done." And but, but Sans is the one that tries to like, re, tries to regain his morale and saying, "Okay, the Boltons have a brother. They took Winter from well felt from us. We got to go and get it. We have to go and get it back. We have to go and rally the North. Even though even if they have five thousand troops and we have two thousand. We gotta rescue our brother. It's our family. It's our kingdom, and we have to f fight to get it back by any by any means necessary. And Jorah and Jorah and Dario are able to are tracking down um, Daenerys, and she's and they had to kill um, a Dorth a Dorthraki, and which kind of alerts everybody to their presence, but. Thanks to Daenerys bumping into the two guys when she's as wrong as a friend with the slave girl that she met at the temp that she made friends with at the temple, they decide to come up with a plan, and she's able to and all the cows meet in the temple for one meeting, and she gives them sass and back talk to them when they talk about bragging about how she, they're gonna all have sex with her and they're gonna sell her for slavery and whatnot, but. She's it, but she tells him that she's gonna kill them all, and because she becomes, she's impervious to fire, she knocks over the what's it called, like torches, and burn and basically burns down the whole temple, killing all of the cow, and she emerges from the fire in the new, which is a basically <clears throat> a callback to the end of season one, and I was surprised. I would have thought she would have like conjured up another dragon and just like just let their asses blown their asses away, but. This was a pretty cool. This is pretty cool too, and made it even like more impressive that she was able to pull this off and not have to rely on the dragons. And so all the Darth, the Darth Raki is like bowing down before her and like you know seeing her as a god. And you know it wasn't just like in the end of season one in which um it was more like just like it was just like only a few people who saw it. It was just like the entire Darth Raki seeing her now, and now it's like. I'm just hoping that maybe she, they become part of her army, and she either goes back to Marine or goes over to Westeros and maybe cause some trouble there, or just have some kind of effect on the plots going on or the events going on there. Now back at Pike, Theon has made it back to see her sister Yara await for her, and she's furious because she wastes efforts to get him back and. She accuses him of only coming back just to make a play at the throne, but Theon declares that he just wants to help her claim the throne instead. And back in Winterfell, um, Ramsay um, is taught has um, Rickon Stark and Osh Osha, his protector, in, get in captivity. And Osha is trying to seduce Ramsay and trying to go for a cutting knife that he was using to peel an apple. And I knew he was—I knew she wasn't going to succeed. And but I just didn't expect Ramsay to like just Ramsay to just um the kill the basically just like kill the killer killer and like stab her in the neck and just like just kill her right then and there because like we just got. I mean, it's I was like. You gotta be fucking kidding me. We just got her back on the show, and it's just like she was back to just get killed off for one episode, which, which basically I just thought it was kind of disappointing for me, and I just thought that was just sucked. And some of the other subplots that happened are Littlefinger going to check, checking on his nephew Robin Aaron, who is um, a cousin to the Stark to um, the Stark kids, and basically wanting to convince him that the. Knights of Vale, 
set forth and attack House Bolton with his own little with whatever ulterior motives he has in mind. And Jamie and and um, Marjorie is taken to meet with the High Sparrow. Who talks about how he lived a life. He left behind this life of you know women and drink women and drinking when he was first and also as a street you know street cobbler to become an a well-paid cobbler to become an evangelist and she's taken and he's taken she's taken to go visit um laura's his brother who is so broken and just wants to just wants it to end marjorie wants to convince him to hold you know hold on you know you know, hold on and hold on for as long as he can, but he's just like, he's just, he just wants it all to end based on whatever kind of torture or starvate, lack of food he's been provided. Like, he just wants to be free, like, no, regardless of what it is. Even they have to walk, make him, make them walk like naked, um, in the streets as, as to atone for their sins and basically humiliate them. And Jamie and, Stiercy, former reluctant alliance, based on information they got from Tim their son Timon. Timon. How I'm not sure how to pronounce it. My apologies. And they have like a small council. They meet with, have a small council meeting, which includes um, Marjorie's mother saying that they have to take action and lead their armies against the High Sparrow's armies, even if it leads to, um, even leads to a lot of losses of life. But they just figure, you know better them better um high sparrows forces than theirs so overall i definitely like this episode better than last week it seemed like things are going into motion i liked how there was like finally a reunion between sansa and john and and now it feels like i just can't wait for i'm not kind of anticipating like who's gonna take who's gonna attack um went to Felt first. Um, is Rickon's gonna find a try to find a way to escape in the meantime, just because of um, basic in the meantime. I'm, I don't know where it's going with that. But anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on the episodes? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. I will get my video for um, once upon a time, the well, once upon a time season finale, either tonight or tomorrow. Next weekend, I'm just going to do like a full season review. Full, they're going to be the mid-season finale of Fear the Walking Dead. I'm just going to do like a like a summary of like the first half of a mid-season like summary, and then of course you'll get my reviews for the Castle season, the Castle series finale, as well as you know my usual shows coming up this week. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.